Yes, we babies. Long time no talk. Not that long, just a couple weeks, but it's a long time for us, right? Let's see, last time we were chit-chatting, I was showing you guys my altar, right? And I got wonderful responses from that, and I'm very, very glad that you guys liked that. And I had promised you some, like, more crystal videos that week, and then I totally flaked on that and didn't, so you can yell at me if you want, but um, I am still working on those, and I'm just gonna start another vlog for you today, because... I love you and I miss you guys and that's how the Romy homies roll but speaking of the Romy homies um this video I'm just gonna kind of talk about like favorites of mine for the past month um stuff that I've been obsessing over things of that sort and um one of the first things that I guess I will show you guys is my button ah! okay so Lady Romy homies, you have to buy a button so that you can rep, okay? So if you follow me on Instagram, you should know that um, you can just DM me. Buttons are $11. That includes the shipping. And um, I just use PayPal. If you do not use Instagram, you can feel free to email me, and I will be happy to set it up. Uh, for you that way, you can email me at ladyromy at gmail.com and I would be happy to send you a Lady Romy button. But um, I'm really excited. I feel like you guys responded well to these. So I'm probably going to be doing more buttons soon, but we're going to try to do a like Romy Homey button. It's either going to be rolling with the Romy Homies or maybe just Romy Homies. I don't know. You guys let us know what you think they should be but um I'm very excited for you guys to rep Lady Romy and the Romy homies um that's one of the things I'm obsessed with right now another thing that I'm obsessed with right now is one of my recent books that I had received from Owl Crate and this is Caraval and this is from Stephanie Garber um I love it I really really love it I've been reading it by the pool and I just get this super like chilled out vibe while I'm reading it because it's all about um, this like magical carnival kind of place. I don't know. It's pretty dope. My bookmark is my like signed Stephanie Garber sticker. No big deal. I'll create things. No big deal. <laughs> but um, I really, really like this book. So if you guys are in need of a new book, check out Caraval. Some other things that I am obsessed with this month are like self-care and just all definitions of that. And so one of the things that I've been using a lot, if you guys know me well enough, you know that I am a lush baby. So here's my little bumblebee. <laughs> and it's literally just like cocoa butter and coffee beans and it's fabulous, but um, you just completely wash up in the shower and then you just kind of use him all over after you've washed however you want to wash and it's so 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 smooth and it smells so yummy and if you use it properly if you wash and exfoliate your whole body properly and then you use him on your whole body properly you don't even really need to like use lotion or anything afterwards um, but with that being said you guys should probably stop using gross lotions you should use coconut oils or really healthy lush product lotions or insert any other brand that you know of that has good lotions because a lot of the like main really big name brand lotion companies are actually not that good for your skin but you didn't hear that from me but um with that being said one of the ways that I have been exfoliating lately is from my gratitude botanical products um don't mind the like stickers completely gross and gone because they're in my shower because I use them every day. <laughs> but um, this is the black sugar enzyme scrub and this stuff smells, it's like Haunted Mansion scented. So take that however you want, but it smells bomb. I promise you it smells super, super bomb. And um, I'm literally almost out. I'm not kidding. I'm embarrassed to show you the little product that I don't judge me. I use it every day. I have to buy more. But um, it's literally just like brown sugar and all this yummy, yummy goodness product stuff. And it's so, it's so, so, so good. I love using that stuff. And this is the foot scrub, and I use that stuff all of the time. So um, 
Gratitude Botanicals is actually one of my very good friends and um, I actually just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about that company before I moved on to the next thing. So Gratitude Botanicals is a completely raw, holistic, no junk, no GMO company. All of their products are natural, they're completely cruelty free, and the company is based in California from a witchy sister of mine, and her products are just made with love. You can feel it in the products, and they actually work, and like I keep mentioning, they're natural, they're from the earth, they're, they're cruelty free, caca free, toxin free. And like, that's how I'm trying to live. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to live crap free. So <laughs> if you can give me some like exfoliating haunted mansion scrub that's crap free, sign me up, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm gonna assume you guys dig what I'm putting down, right? <laughs> and um, one of my other good friends, um, has also her own little company and something that I've also been obsessed with all month long. And these are wax melts. And her company is Magical Sensations. And a lot of her products are wonderfully themed. Well, I should say all her products are wonderfully themed, but um, they are wonderfully themed for people like us. And so I've got Snow Queen, Cinderella, Wonderland. Um, I've got a few more in my cabinet. And I think I might even do another giveaway soon for some Lady Romy homies. And I think that I'll be putting a Magical Sensation Wax product in there. Because, you guys, these things smell so, so, so good. I can't eat, like, my roommate's right off screen and she can vouch for me that our house smells bomb when I have the wax burner on. Like, <laughs> we've got one that I mix with, like, a caramel. I mix the uh, Cinderella one, which is, like, pumpkin and like other stuff and I mix that with like a caramel wax and it smells like the haunted mansion in here like Christmas time haunted mansion just saying and like the wonderland one I'm trying to smell it so I can remember it smells like chocolate and gummy bears which like I don't know if that's what wonderland is supposed to smell like but that's what it smells like to me and it's amazing like it just it's so good you guys and then snow queen is like um Oh, it's like the best peppermint smelling just anything you've ever, yeah. It's, oh, it's so good. Let, I wish I could give you guys smell-o-vision, but I can't. But um, her products are also handmade. She's straight out of Mesa, Arizona. And um, all of these melts are all pure soy wax and then just like essential oils and other natural fragrances. So I'm really big on soy products and stuff like that because I know a lot of the like wax candles that we burn are actually gross and they're emitting like crap into the air. I can't explain it fully to you because I don't have all the education on it but I know it's not the best. So like soy pure natural products if you are trying to burn things in your house to make it smell good it's kind of better to go down that route. Magical Sensations they are constantly putting out like really cool new scents. She's constantly working on new exciting products for you guys. And this month, uh, the month of May, she will actually be releasing a new line which I can give you guys a little sneak peek of and it's gonna be the Princess and the Pea and it's gonna be like a sweet pea and like a fresh linen scent. So I'm actually excited to see what that's gonna smell like because that sounds pretty cool. And that's very clever for Princess and the Pea, like sweet pea, fresh linen, bed, pea, get it? <laughs> so I think that's pretty cool. Later this summer, she will have a whole new collection also coming out. Um, and she doesn't just have wax melts, she also burns candles, or she has candles for you to burn. Um, I have magical sensation candles all up and down my bookshelf, so <laughs> I am a magical sensation fan, but... Um, I've been burning her wax melts a lot this month, so I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up on those guys. Another one of the things that I have been into this month that is like kind of a serious topic, but I'm gonna talk to you guys about it just in the middle of all of this because I want you to understand that if you need to take antidepressants, if you need to take stimulants, if you need to take things of that sort and you might feel awkward or ashamed or someone has tried to make you feel awkward or ashamed, I want you to know you don't have to be. There's nothing wrong with that. 
Um, so you guys know that I have been through a lot um, recently and in the past and just in general. Um, I don't know how much updating I gave that last time, but since I had given you the last update, I am currently seeing a therapist and a psychiatrist and I'm very pleased with that and they are both very proud of me and together with my primary care physician we are like the ultimate trifecta holy grail of like let's fix Sarah <laughs> and um, my psychiatrist and I figured out what I should be taking so I am on antidepressants now and I'm only taking 20 milligrams a day and that's probably all we're gonna keep me at which is slightly smaller than the most common dosages that they are having people on. So I'm pleased with that because I never had wanted to be one to have to take something to be normal, but it's not about being normal. It's about being stable and happy and having your sanity on a much more like livable basis and um my sanity is awesome <laughs> my my uh shoulders have just dropped and if you understand what i go through and you have your own troubles then you might understand what i'm talking about um this weight has been lifted and i just feel so much more like clear-headed and able to be patient and calm throughout crazy hectic situations and I haven't had a panic attack in like weeks probably weeks um I feel my emotions I acknowledge them I see them through to the end and then I move on and it's the most fascinating fucking thing in the world. And I'm like, oh my God, you mean, you mean I don't have to let things derail my whole day? Like I can be okay and like I can have a good day still even when bad stuff happens and I get pissed for a second. Like, yes, you can. You're allowed to be upset. You can see that emotion to the end and then you can move on with your day. And it's a really good feeling. And I'm really, really pleased. And I have no problem saying now that, yes, I take antidepressants every day. And I highly, highly suggest everybody go talk to a therapist. Um, there's nothing wrong with talking to somebody. Seriously. There, and we all could use some help. We all could use some clarity. We all could just use some like, oh, I never thought of it that way. We really could. There, there's just, that's all a part of life, you know. You're supposed to go to school when you're young and then you don't have to go to school according to law anymore and then we just kind of stop learning and there's just no reason for that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm really happy right now. I'm really pleased with all of my doctors. They listen to me. They hear me. They take me seriously and we're just finding solutions and I'm so happy about it, you guys. And I'm sharing this with you guys because you always give me the most most unconditional and like overwhelming feeling of love and concern and I couldn't be more grateful for that and I want to thank you guys for that and I want to give you updates on how I'm doing and always keep my arms and my doors open and my DMs open and my emails open and you guys are always welcome to talk to me about this stuff because I know how hard it is and I know how scary it is up there so moving on um, I also had to go to a GI doctor, um, like what a gastroenterology, I'm not really sure the exact term, I just know GI is the short term, and him and I went through a ton of stuff um, for me to stop having such bad like throwing up issues all the time, and I think we have finally found some solutions to that, which is another like a million thumbs up. But um, one of the things that I had to do was start having more probiotics in my diet, which was weird for me because I don't drink live cultures normally. And like kombucha grosses me out, so I wasn't about to be taking that stuff. But um, I've been trial and erroring. Um, I don't like Yakult. I think it's very gross. And um, Activia is like full of sugar, so that's crap because those are two like big name brand ones that they try and tell you. So I started going to like Trader Joe's and all my natural stores and um, I've been drinking this probiotic kefir water tea 
from the Living Apothecary. It's pretty cute, right? Cute little bottle. And this stuff is hibiscus apricot, and then I have like a tamarind black tea or something like that. And um, super tasty, super, super, super tasty. I'm really pleased with this stuff. Um, so it's a naturally fermented beverage. There's live cultures in here, and it's just brewed with like loose leaf tea. So, um, you know, there's living creatures in there. They're alive. You can tell, but... <laughs> But it's okay, because that's what we need in our system. And that's what we need to be healthy and stuff. So living healthy is fine. Um, vans, socks, only the cutest new designs that I've ever seen. Oh, they're so freaking cute, you guys. Like, literally, I just needed some new socks. But are you kidding me with all these? Stop it. Stop it. Give me my little rainbows. Give me my little third eye love third eye socks oh well, um yeah I just hadn't shopped at Vans for a while that's usually the only place I get my little ankle socks and the last time I went the designs were like meh not interested but rainbows and third eyes I am all for it so I just wanted to let you guys know Vans has really cool sock designs right now <laughs> and um, things that I have been obsessing over all month long is um two different albums so the first album would be Good Evening from De Oro. And the next album would be Damn from Kendrick Lamar. Um, those two albums dropped just within the last couple of months. So they are still pretty recent regardless. And um, I'm just, I can't stop listening to them, you guys. I cannot stop listening to both these albums. I probably wake up every morning to Good Evening. And then by the end of every day, I'm like bumping Damn. So... <laughs> Um, if you need some new good music, I highly suggest those two albums for you. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have been obsessing over this month. And I think I am done blabbing to you guys for today. And I think that I gave you some updates about my world over here. But, um, I want to know what's going on with you guys. So, I hope that you liked this video if you do please give me a thumbs up um and I want to know what you guys are obsessing over right now and what you are into and what's making you happy so leave me a comment and let me know all of that stuff and until next time please don't ever forget that if nobody loves you Romy loves you and that's all that matters